Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another tutorial and this time we are doing a client makeover. I'm starting her face off by spraying her face with Fix Plus. It is golden. Then I'm brushing her eyebrows up and I'm filling it in with the e.l.f. pomade. In the description below, I'll leave all the products that I used. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this concealer just to clean up under her brow bone. Now I'm using a different concealer just to prime her actual eyelid to hold the eyeshadow that I'm going to place next. I'm going to go ahead and move in with this Morphe palette and I'm going to use this brown shade as her transition color. For this next step, I'm moving in to the outer corner of her eyelid and I'm using the darkest shade. It is this dark blue color. For this step, I'm using a smaller brush to move that dark color right above her lid where she opens her eyes and her crease cuts. This is the process of a cut crease. Now I'm going to take a small concealer brush and take a small amount of concealer and I'm just going to line the bottom of the dark part that I put over her eyeball and I'm going to line it up just to create the spot where I'm going to put a lighter color in. For the next step, I take the actual pigment which is a metallic gold and I'm taking a dry soft flat brush and I'm just packing it on top of the concealer so it can reflect as bright as possible. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a simple pair of lashes. I'm gluing it from the middle to the inner corner and the outer corner. Now moving on to her face, I'm starting off with an emollient moisturizer. Everyone should always use a moisturizer before they start their foundation process. Now I'm going in with a foundation that matches her skin tone. I'm putting that all over in every corner of her face except for under eye. Now I'm going in with concealer, I'm putting that right under her eye and I'm staying right in the center of her face, not going further than the width of her eye. Yeah. 
Now to my favorite part, blending out the concealer. I'm using this fluffy brush from Real Techniques and I'm just patting it and making it a seamless transition. Now that the concealer is all blended out, I'm moving on to contouring and I'm using a cream foundation. I'm going to contour her cheekbones, the bridge of her nose, and her forehead. And now for the blending part, I'm going to use a soft, wet beauty blender. Well, actually damp. And I'm going to blend each part out and for this step you want to make sure it is very seamless so you want to take your time. Now it is time to set. I'm going in with a translucent setting powder and I'm setting everywhere that I put the concealer. The next step is setting the contour. So I'm using a brown shade just to go over it everywhere that I contoured her face with. We are almost there guys. For the finishing touches, for her eyeshadow, I like to line her waterline with a black eyeliner. Next up is blush. We are adding this blush from NARS just to add some color back into her face. This is one of my new favorite highlighters at the moment it is the MAC highlighter and I'm using that to add to the tops of her cheeks right on top of the blush. Now I'm going back in with a sponge and black eyeshadow and I'm using the sponge just to make the eyeshadow come out super precise and it won't be all sloppy underneath her eye. Now I'm just smudging it out with the same color that I used in the transition color. And for this tutorial we want to be extra so we're going in with the extra highlighter. This is a pink dazzling highlighter that we put right on top of the gold one. Now we're moving on to lips. We are going in with my favorite chestnut lip liner. It's a dark brown lip liner and I'm moving on to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. They are all matte lipsticks and I'm just going in with the neutral shade. Now we are just adding a pink lip gloss on top to bring more shimmer into it. This is my favorite mascara for under eye, so I just got a mascara wand and I added it to her under eye. For the finished product, I am using this eyebrow gel just to keep her long eyebrow hairs in place. And here you have it guys, the finished product. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And let me know what you want to see next.